called Humans of New York has become wildly popular. The photographer hits the streets of the city to tell the stories of New Yorkers and then publishes their stories and pictures on his blog. Well, Notre Dame has its own version of this viral blog and it's called I Am Notre Dame. And we are joined by the creator of that blog in studio now, Laura Greska. Welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thank you so much. So good to meet you. How did I Am Notre Dame get started and how long have you been operating the site? Well, I started it in November of 2013, so that was my freshman year, and I've always wanted to be a writer. I'm interested in English and publishing, and I was hearing all these awesome stories of people I was meeting but didn't know how to share them with other people. I'd share them with my parents, share them with my friends from other schools, but finally I decided it makes the most sense to put it somewhere where everyone can see these things and to see them from the sources. I bet. So in, in fact, you probably started it before uh, Humans of New York did. I did not. I was oh, inspired. <laughs> inspired. Inspired. Well, what sort of people do you look for to interview? Really, anyone who has time. Um, the most important thing is that you have some sort of connection to Notre Dame, whether that means that you're on campus or I see you wearing some Notre Dame stuff off campus. But really the only thing that I look for is if you have time to talk to me. Because if you're running somewhere, I don't want to stop you and you, know, you might not tell as great a story as you could if you, if you have the time. Uh, tell me about one of the greatest stories that you've heard. What, what are some of your favorites? Uh, I really cannot pick one. There are so many things that I've learned, so many cool people I've talked to, and one of I guess one of the most exciting ones was we helped raise some money for a service dog, Fred, and he finally had a surgery that he needed by posting the link. I was really excited to see Pete, the Notre Dame community engaging in these things. But honestly, every story, I, the new, new stories that I do, everyone becomes my new favorite. That sounds good. We're looking at some of your photos right now, very inspiring <laughs> stories. How do viewers look at the photos? How do they learn more? So I have three formats that are all identical pictures and words. Uh, I am Notre Dame on Facebook, um, I am Notre Dame.tumblr.com, and I am Notre Dame.blogspot.com. So what I tell people is you can just Google it. And do you want people to give you ideas? How does that work? Yes. Yeah, so on all the websites, I say if you can email me and you want me to interview you or you want me to interview someone who you've recommended to me, just let me know, put me in contact with them, and I stop some people on the quad or I sit down with people and I have coffee and talk about their stories. Remarkable. How do you have time to do all of this, young lady? Oh, man. I'm a busy girl. <laughs>